Efficiency is key. Learn the secrets to organizing complex 3D scenes like a pro. This video is part of our Unreal Engine full course. Subscribe and check the playlist for more tutorials. In this lesson, we'll cover essential organizational techniques, including using folders, grouping, and packed level actors to keep your projects tidy and manageable. Let's get started. If your scene is too bright inside the outliner, you can select your directional light and adjust the intensity in its details for now. I will discuss lighting in detail later, but let's decrease the intensity of your directional light for now. Now that we have our first building, I want to discuss some organizational techniques. We have already discussed how important organization is, especially as projects get larger. It becomes increasingly difficult to manage a project as it grows. So let's discuss the organizational techniques we have here. The first one is that if you go to the top view and select everything you have here, then inside the outliner, you can right click and move everything to a folder and name your folder building one. Essentially, you can create a folder in your outliner for your building. This is the first organizational technique, but it is somewhat limiting. Let's talk about grouping. I can select all the items that I have in my folder. If I right click, I can group them all, or when they are selected, I can press Ctrl plus G on the keyboard. I have created a group with the building. This allows me to select the entire building with just one click and move it as a single unit. If I right click in the grouping, I can unlock the group and make some changes to my group. Then, when I'm done with my changes, I can simply return to the group and lock it again. Now you see my changes made their way into the group. I can also unlock the group and remove an object from the group. When I lock it again, you see that the object is out of the group. If I select the group again, I can regroup it as a new group or select the object that is out of the group and add it back to the group. Let's lock it again. We must mention that grouping has some limitations. First, every change I make to one group will not transfer to the copies I made from it. Also, if I try to scale the group, you will see that it disrupts the organization I made for this building. So, what is the other option I have here? Instead of grouping, we have another option. I'm going to delete my copies and ungroup my building. Now that I have ungrouped them, I will select everything and right click. And this time, I will go level. You have two options, create level instance and create packed level actor. Both of them will create a mini level that includes everything you selected. The difference between create level instance and create packed level actor is simple. Create level instance reuses a part of your level, making it efficient for repeating sections without duplicating them. Create packed level actor does the same, but also creates a blueprint, a visual script that allows for advanced control and customization of the grouped elements. Blueprints enable you to add custom logic and adjust parameters easily. The second option gives you more flexibility, so I will select it and hit OK to create a packed level. I will make another folder called PL and then save my file as Packed Level Building 01. When I create it, it will also ask me where I want to save the blueprint. I'll save it in the same place. Inside my content drawer are two new items, a blueprint and a level. Also, looking at your outliner, you will see that everything we selected has become one packed level instance. The most important thing is that right now, you can use this building not only in different locations of this level, but also in different levels and even different projects. If I want to go to my packed level, I must save all the changes I made. Inside the level, I have to change the view option to unlit mode to see what is inside since there is no lighting. You'll see that we essentially put everything we selected inside a level. This mini level helps us stay organized and can be used in any other project. But what is the difference between this packed level and the blueprint we made? You will see the same building in the blueprint viewport if I go to the blueprint. 
The difference here is that you can control some of the parameters and build some logic into it with a blueprint. For example, if we had a series of lights, we could set a logic here to turn them on and off. Let me go back to my level. Please note, you have to close the blueprint and change the view option back to lit mode inside the viewport and turn off the helpers. You can add this packed level to your scene from your content folder by dragging and dropping it and you can have multiple instances of it by just copying it around. If you make just one copy, let's delete other copies for now. If you want to change the building, you need to right click and select Edit. After I make the changes that I am looking for, when I exit, you will notice that the changes I made are applied to the other instance I have there. Let's reset it to what it was. If I select the Scale tool and try to make some modifications, I notice I can easily make any modifications I want and they won't break. It is a very powerful tool to have handy in your workflow. Ok, right now I want to make another building, but this time I want it to be one story. So I'm going to edit mode and pressing Ctrl plus A to select everything. However, I don't need the pivot they made for this building, so I deselect it. Here, I'm going to press Ctrl plus C and exit. I will then be able to hide this building and press Ctrl plus V to bring back all the items that we picked. I'm going to make a one-story building out of this. So, I'm going to one of the side views, delete the second floor as I don't need it, and return to my perspective. I created a ceiling for my building using roof components downloaded from the Megascans library to cover the roof. This will be exactly like what we have practiced for our creations until now, so let's just make it. I will copy and place this on top of my building and make more copies to cover up this building. I need this piece and will mirror it along the red axis. So, in the details panel, I can set the scale to minus 1 from the left view I can select everything and bring it down I can make a copy in the top view rotate it 180 degrees to cover the side and place and adjust it from the left view I can select everything and scale it down I will bring this down here and then go to the perspective view to see it. Also, I can go to the bottom view to adjust its location. While we have our roof selected, I want to adjust and scale it from different directions. Sometimes scaling it in different directions doesn't work. What is the solution here? I am going to use another solution, which is parenting. This helps me scale the roof correctly without destroying our organization. I will select one of the roof items and, inside the outliner, rename it to Roof. Then, I go to one of the views, select everything related to the roof, and drag everything under the roof item that we renamed. Now, the roof is the parent of any item attached to it, so if we do a scaling operation on the roof, it will transfer scale information to any child or in other words the item attached to it. I use the other roof item that I downloaded to cover the bottom of the roof and select everything from the top view and pack another level for this building. Now that I have two buildings that I made using modular design principles, I turn on my blocking and place my new building in place of their placeholder. In this lesson, we discussed organizational techniques in Unreal Engine 5. We covered adjusting scene lighting, creating folders and groups for better asset management, and using packed level actors for advanced control and customization. 
Mastering these techniques can help you efficiently manage and organize your projects, making your workflow smoother and more productive. In the next lesson, we will explore additional techniques that will help us build our scene even more effectively.